Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's service in the Ashburn Chapel. Thought it would be a good idea to begin the service in the space itself, uh, to share it with you, some images of it, and to let you know how empty it is without all of you here. And a day will come when we will be back in this space, enjoying one another's company in ways we are more familiar, but it's nice tonight uh, to be together with you in this way, enjoying something familiar on some level, uh, in being together uh, in this particular way. I want to thank Mr. Chapman and Mr. Dobbins and our chapel prefects for working to pull this service together tonight. We will do it again uh, this coming Sunday night, and hopefully before too long, we will be back here uh, doing it live and in person and in ways uh, that we are much more familiar with and much more fond of. So uh, enjoy tonight's service, continue to take good care, and know that the school continues to miss having you here. Our opening hymn is Seek Ye First. Mr. Humphreyville will play it on the chapel organ. You and your family are invited to sing along. The words will appear on the screen. reading is from the prophet Isaiah. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not see it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, the people whom I formed for myself, so that they might declare my praise. The second reading is from the Chilean writer Isabella Jenner. We don't even know how strong we are until we are forced to bring that hidden strength forward. In times of tragedy, of war, of necessity, people do amazing things. The human capacity for survival and renewal is awesome. The third reading is from the American writer and poet, Maya Angelou. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all healthy and safe and have had a good first week of uh, online school. Uh, this is a challenging time. Uh, for those of you, uh, if there are um, parents or alumni who are watching that I haven't had a chance to meet, I'm Jim Chapman. I have the pleasure of being the school minister. Uh, it's been a month since we were all together in the chapel at Brooks and uh, it seems like a long time. I miss being with you all. Um, and it seems like uh, a lot has happened uh, in the time since we've been together. Uh, my wife Anne and I have been um, isolated, pretty much isolated in our house uh, since the beginning of March. We're very lucky because uh, our daughter Sarah and her family live just down the street and they've been shopping for us and taking good care of us, so uh, we're extremely fortunate. Uh, I hope you're all um, uh, as fortunate and as well taken care of where you are. I'm sure you are. Uh, I certainly look forward to the time when we can be all back together 
and hope that that will be happening uh, before the end of May. Um, this has been a challenging time. One of the things I've learned from it is uh, how important community is to me. Uh, when a community kind of evaporates, uh, I suddenly discover that it's uh, there are all kinds of ways that I take community for granted in my life and suddenly discover that it's extremely important to me. I miss my daily trip to the gym. I miss talking to the young people who work behind the counter. I even miss the uh, pudgy guy who sometimes uh, were, sits on the exercise bicycle next to me and huffs and puffs and talks too loudly on his cell phone while he works out. I miss going to the grocery store. I miss going to the hardware store. Um, and most of all, I miss the community at, at Brooks. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I've been the minister for since the beginning of last year. Uh, and have absolutely loved the job and loved being part of the Brooks community. And uh, uh, I'm still part of the Brooks community. We all are, but it's uh, it's different doing it by um, uh, online and at a distance. Um, so our, our life has been disrupted in ways that um, have taken some time to adjust to. Uh, and I find myself wondering what it's going to be like uh, when this crisis is over and we all get to resurface again. Uh, today is Palm Sunday, and uh, I don't intend to preach a Christian sermon because our community is a very diverse one, uh, but I am thinking of the, the, the little community of followers around Jesus uh, because this is the week when we remember the last week of his life, uh, how Jesus and his little community of followers entered into Jerusalem with people uh, clapping and cheering and waving palm fronds and expecting him to become a king. And within a week, he had been arrested, tried, condemned to death, and executed on the cross. And that little community of uh, his friends and followers uh, was totally devastated. Uh, it fell completely apart. And... Um, uh, most of the people ran away and hid, and those who didn't, I think, were terrified that they were going to be themselves arrested and killed. Uh, but in another week after that, that little community had com been completely revived and had found an, an, an incredible new source of strength and energy and power uh, and uh, had discovered the mission to, uh, to go forth into the world and uh, tell the world about this person that they had known. And that little handful of people made as big a mark on the history of the world as anyone ever has. Um, I think about that, and again, not to preach a sermon, but because I think that when this time is, this, uh, this crisis that we're going through is over, uh, I hope that we all will find, uh, as Jesus' people did, I hope we will find new strength, new energy, new, a new commitment to, uh, to caring for one another, to reaching out to one another, uh, to building a society that truly cares about one another, uh, a society based on love. Uh, that's the only way. Uh, it's the way that Jesus taught. It's the way um, I try to live and hope I do. And it's the one that I hope we all uh, understand and uh, work together to develop at Brooks School and everywhere. Again, I hope you're all safe and healthy and happy. Uh, I look forward to seeing you when that can be. Uh, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Our closing hymn is the school hymn. Mr. Humphreyville will play it on the chapel organ, and you and your family are invited to sing along. The words will appear on the screen.
community in love be present with us and hold us together through this challenging time. Open our eyes to the opportunities you put before us and help us find new strength and faith in our changing lives. Give us thankful hearts for the gifts of live and love and keep us always in the circle of your loving care. Amen.